Welcome back to Science Today. Today, we're going to explore a recent study that has made the origin of Earth's water even more mysterious than we thought. So, let's dive right in and quench our thirst for knowledge. The study in question was published in the journal Nature. Led by University of Maryland Assistant Professor of Geology Megan Newcomb. The team analyzed seven melted, or achondrite, meteorites that had been floating around in space since the solar system's formation four and a half billion years ago. To analyze these meteorites, the researchers first baked their samples in a low-temperature vacuum oven to remove any surface water. Then, they measured the meteorites' levels of magnesium, iron, calcium, and silicon, and used a secondary ion mass spectrometry instrument to measure their water contents. Now, here's the kicker. These meteorites were found to have extremely low water content, making them some of the driest extraterrestrial materials ever measured. This led the researchers to conclude that these meteorites could not have been the primary source of Earth's water. Before this study, there were two main hypotheses about the origin of Earth's water. The first and most common hypothesis suggested that water arrived on our planet through meteoroids crashing into the Earth during its early days. The second hypothesis proposed that water was already inside the Earth, trapped in hydrous materials within the planet's mantle. Volcanoes and underwater vents then brought the water to the surface. However, the groundbreaking study we mentioned earlier has made us rethink these hypotheses and plunged us into deeper waters of mystery. Since the achondrite meteorite samples were found to contain less than two millionths of water by mass, it's clear that the heating and melting of planetesimals leads to near total water loss. This means that, contrary to popular belief, not all outer solar system objects are rich in water. The researchers concluded that Earth's water was likely delivered via unmelted, or chondritic, meteorites. These findings have significant implications not only for our understanding of Earth's water, but also for the search for water and life on other planets. As we explore the universe and find more exoplanets, this study helps us understand which of those planetary systems could potentially host life. So, what does all of this mean for us? Well, it seems that the answer to the question of Earth's water is more elusive than we thought. And we might need to explore new theories to fully understand this enigma. That's it for today's episode of Science Today. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of Earth's water, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts on these discoveries. As always, thank you for joining us on Science Today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest scientific discoveries and breakthroughs. We'll see you next time as we continue to quench our curiosity about the fascinating world around us. Until then, stay curious.